think everybody needs to draw every day. Imagine that, if everyone just drew a picture every day, what would happen? Some of the exercises that we use in an intuitive hand class, intuitive drawing class, is that uh, it's kind of like an icebreaker, you know? But it's also to kind of throw people off from how they normally draw. These are uh, ideas that kind of carry over and help to, uh, you know, create moments of interaction for people. At the same time, learning new drawing techniques. It's kind of where um, the, the ideas come from is how do we interact you know with each other and, and um, you know think about different ways of uh, creating or making marks. The first class that you saw um, we didn't talk for the whole first hour and that was difficult for me you know because I think I started talking to them but they couldn't talk back right and they couldn't talk to each other but they had to communicate with each other and they had to draw on the same surfaces so they used large paper you probably saw them drawing on little paper you know it was uh, a change for them you know and and the funny thing is I don't think they had any way of knowing what the class was even going to be about so um, because a part of it is for me too is learning what intuitive drawing is you know what is art in relation to in intuition about so it's not necessarily something I'm teaching them about but something them something that I'm guiding them on a journey along with me you know oh, I'm crying I'm very close to this class it's very very emotional <laughs> <laughs> I think that they're starting to get the opportunity to chill, to meditate a little bit. Because we had another session, um, and you know, for most of the time, people were quiet. I thought people were going to be a little chatty, you know, but you know, it was very quiet and mellow. And I think that's very, you know, people want that. You know, I imagine we're getting advertised to every day, all day, and now we get to you know, step out of that world for a little bit and draw. Uh, what happened was, you know, there was some laughing and some, you know, some interaction and, um, and, and some people that communicated to me that they were very uncomfortable with, you know, like, how do I draw this? How do I make this? You know, is this gonna be that type of class? And I was like, well, yeah, but we're taking a long way around. And I think we could, we have a lot to learn by, you know, taking that long way. It's an intuitive class that I'm using, counterintuitive activities. So it breaks them out of something that they're intuitively used to, or they do naturally, right? And so like, hey, I can see my own style now. You know, I have a style. But I never really get to see that because I'm always drawing with my right hand. Let me draw with my left hand and see what happens, you know? So now I can see a difference between the two. So break, break from norms. But I think breaking allows for uh, healing, you know, or a recognition of what needs to be healed in a way, you know, or patched. I don't know, that's too deep. <laughs> <laughs>